Salutations. Fujian Carrier Strike Group, how good might it be? After 10 years of carrier operations, and with the introduction of the Fujian Katabar carrier not too far off, what might a future PLAN carrier strike group consist of? Just as an aircraft carrier is more than its aircraft, the carrier strike group is more than just the carrier. This is where other developments in the PLAN over the past 10 years portend the future of the composition of a carrier strike group. This briefing examines a potential composition of a fully operational Chinese Navy carrier strike group. Our sea related briefings, China's aircraft carrier ambitions and the Type 055 Super Destroyer, link below. At some stage, if I can ask uh, during the briefing to please hit the like button, it really helps the channel grow. The core of a carrier strike group is of course the aircraft carrier, of which the Chinese Navy will soon have three, the newest and most capable of which is Plans 18 Fujian. The Fujian, launched in June 2022, is a Katabar carrier, similar in size to the former US Navy Kitior class carriers. It, however, has a larger available deck area, allowing more aircraft on deck, all things being equal. The Fujian is preceded by the Stobar carriers Shandong and Liaoning, which, while similar, are not identical. Despite some commentary, the vessels are the same length, and there is nothing to suggest that the hangar on the Shandong is any bigger than that on the Liaoning. The main visual differences are the significantly smaller island and slightly modified deck area on the Shandong, meaning an increase in the available area on the Shandong. As a result, it can accommodate more aircraft on the deck. The Fujian has significantly larger deck area compared to its predecessors, and there is no reason to assess that its hangar won't also be significantly larger. Nominal air wings for the three carriers might look like the following. For the Fujian, a notional air wing of 70 aircraft comprising 24 J-35 fighters and or GJ-11 UCABs, 24 J-15 fighters and or buddy tankers, 5 J-15 electronic warfare aircraft, 5 KJ-600 airborne early warning and control aircraft, 10 Z-18 anti-submarine warfare helos, and two Z-18 search and rescue or carrier onboard delivery helicopters. And for the Liaoning and Shandong, a notional air wing of around 36 aircraft, 24 J-15 fighters slash tankers, four Z-18 airborne early warning helos, six Z-18 anti-submarine warfare helos, and two Z-9 search and rescue helos. Noting, of course, that the Shandong has more deck space available so we could handle more aircraft than the Liaoning. The size and composition of the air wings will likely influence the composition of the carrier strike group. The largest and most capable of the escorting combat vessels will be the Type 055. Equipped with 112 universal VLS cells, a 24 cell point defense missile system, a close in weapon system, 130 millimeter gun, two anti-submarine warfare helicopters and six lightweight torpedo tubes. The, the 055 contributes significantly to all domains, but will likely have a focus on strike weapons. The Fujian Carrier Strike Group will likely have one Type 055, with the Liaoning and Shandong Carrier Strike Groups possibly having two, providing additional long-range strike to compensate for the range payload constraints fighter strike aircraft have operating off Stobar carriers. While the Type 055 has significant anti-air warfare capability, the primary air warfare vessels of the carrier strike group are the Type 052D slash DLs. Although fitted with less universal VLS cells than the 055, we should expect the focus of those cells to be on surface-to-air missiles. It is likely the carrier strike group will have at least two 052D slash DLs. It is possible a further DDG would be added to the carrier strike group, likely either a Type 051 Bravo, 051 Charlie or 052 Bravo, and less likely to be a Sovereign Many or Type 052 Charlie DDG. The last element of the combat escort force for the carrier strike group 
will be the Type 054A anti-submarine warfare frigates. The carrier strike group may have as many as three to four, given the likely ASW threat and the limited number of very capable ASW helos within the carrier strike group. The surface combat escorts are supported by a large AOR or fast underway replenishment ship. And only the US Navy and Royal Navy operate vessels with this level of capability. These vessels are critical to long endurance carrier strike group deployments. The surface force will likely be augmented by one or two Type 093 SSNs in a similar manner to the US Navy carrier strike groups. The Fujian carrier strike group then might consist of the Fujian, one Type 055, two Type 052D slash DLs, three Type 054A anti-submarine warfare frigates, one Type 091 AOR, and one or two SSNs. In summary, the PLAN has created all the necessary components for a full spectrum and very capable carrier strike group. A Catabar carrier, surface combatants with large numbers of long range surface strike missiles, and vessels specialised in anti-air warfare and anti-submarine warfare. As a force multiplier to these surface combatants, the PLAN's large fast underway replenishment ships, a capability only the Royal Navy and US Navy possess, will facilitate enduring carrier strike group operations beyond the first island chain. When the carrier Fujian is operational, we should expect PLAN carrier strike group deployments to be both more frequent and farther ranging. That concludes today's briefing. Thank you for watching. Happy to take suggestions for future briefings from subscribers, so please subscribe, like, and share. Until next time, Vale de Cerro.